My name is Ben Sears and six years ago my family received the news that my granddad had been diagnosed with prostate cancer. Soon after this news we also found out that my father had also been diagnosed with the same killer disease. Luckily after multiple operations they both got the all clear and were okay. By being directly impacted by this killer disease it has made me question are the men in this country fully aware of the testing services available and what signs to look out for when looking for prostate cancer. I have spoken to expert neurologists, a male over 50 who's worried about prostate cancer and celebrity Jeff Stelling who's a prostate cancer awareness ambassador to find out more about this killer disease. We want to raise awareness of what prostate cancer is. A few years ago, it's virtually not been heard of at all, and how simple it can be to cure, you know, if you take the right steps. Oh uh, yeah, a, there are lots of treatments, and, and if the cancer is still um, inside the prostate when it's found, uh, then you can try and cure people with either radiotherapy or an operation. You can eat in this new things being looked at, like using focused heat waves, like that like heat focus ultrasound, which which heats the prostate, or you can even freeze it as well. So there, there are lots of different ways you can try and cure someone. Once the cancer's escaped outside the prostate, you can't cure someone then. You can control it, but you can't cure it. And sometimes you can, can cure, you can control it for years to come by using these treatments. And there are more and more treatments coming out to cure it, mainly tablets, to be honest. So, um, so there's two different types of treatment, curative treatment and then controlling treatment. I think as you get older, prostate cancer becomes a bit scary because it's a very unknown disease for men, obviously, and it's sometimes very difficult to know if you have it or not. We look at it as a male-dominated illness. Of course, physically it is, but it affects families, it affects wives and daughters and sisters. Oh, well, it's massive, isn't it? As soon as you hear the word cancer, you think that they're going to die and everyone gets upset and, and all the rest of it. So, first of all, there's the emotional side of it. Um, and then, of course, there's the effects on, the, on, on your, on your uh, relative who's having the treatment. So you've got to be supportive of that and all, all the effects it has on his work and everything. And then there's the thought, well, you know, from the children's point of view, is they say, well, what about me? What if I get it? And how am I going to try and prevent it? about making people realise that they don't have to panic, even if you've got a family member of it. Yes, you've got to be a bit more aware that you have to be checked out, but at least you can be cured if you pick it up early enough. Uh, so it's not, the cancer nowadays is not doom and doom. I feel quite strongly that there are certainly not enough ways, or enough obvious ways, to get checked out for prostate cancer. Um, I've just had a well man test, which I've had all my life, really, every 10 years or so. Um, but not one of the tests would actually tell me whether I have prostate cancer or not. Uh, and when I went to my doctor to say, could I have the PSA test, um, they said no. So it's difficult, because if you go to your GP and you say to your GP, like, I'm worried about prostate cancer, can I have a blood test? They'll probably say no, unless you had to have a family history. Uh, and they might say, well, you know, you're too young or there's no need for it or it's controversial. We don't know what the right thing is. So um, generally speaking, if you don't have a, a, a family history, you will find it quite hard to get it. If you go for a company checkup, then you might get it that way. Um, and, you know, there are various charities that go around offering PSA blood tests. But generally speaking, until you get to the age of 40, it'll be quite difficult for you to get through the NHS. I think one of the problems may be that it is very difficult to diagnose, um, and that's the main problem. But there are ways that can certainly give an indication of whether you might have prostate cancer. So um, there aren't many, to be honest. It's a bit of a silent killer, in inverse commas, because um, by the time a prostate cancer is big enough to cause symptoms, uh, it's usually not curable at that stage. So when, you know, if, if you have problems passing urine when you're older, it could be because of prostate cancer, but usually it's just because you've got a big prostate, and prostates grow bigger as you get older, and as the prostate grows bigger, it tends to kink the water pipe, and that's what gives you the symptoms. So, you know, you can look out for going more frequently or having a reduced strength to your flow, um, but uh, usually that's nothing to do with cancer at all. 
prostate cancer affects one man in eight in the UK. One man per hour will die of prostate cancer in the UK. If you're black, one in four uh, will get prostate cancer. The figures are absolutely scary.